These charging documents tell you a lot more about what happened here outside of Dubell High School Monday afternoon at dismissal when the shooting happened. It indicates that the suspect, this 17 year old, was with another group of kids who drove here to this area. He goes to a different school. There was this dispute, confrontation between two groups. There was a struggle over this gun, and that's when Jada was struck. And he told a friend, allegedly, he didn't mean for it to happen. According to charging documents, a 17 year old boy now charged with murdering Jada Madrano Moore told a friend that the two were fighting over the gun when it went off, that he didn't mean to shoot her. The documents show the suspect arrived outside Duval High School Monday afternoon with a group of people. There was a fight between two groups. Jada tried to take the gun away from the suspect, and during the struggle, she was hit and later died. And now we know it was another juvenile armed with a gun who stole her future and shattered her family. Police have said from the beginning that Jada was not the intended target. Police say the dispute was ongoing between the groups. Jada intervened in the dispute and lost her life defending her younger brother. That gun has not been recovered. We spoke to Jada's aunt and uncle about the arrest. Bittersweet moment. Um, we lost our star, Jada. Um, and for the other family, they lost their child as well, being that he will spend the rest of his life behind bars. The suspect is a student at Flowers High School. Charging documents show police pulled over a car matching the description of the car involved in the shooting. The documents say detectives interviewed the suspect and others who were in the car. Investigators say one of them told police the suspect confessed to shooting Jada by accident. Speechless, and we are just so devastated and so angry about the loss of Jada. It shouldn't have happened. It didn't have to happen. Two days after the shooting, the school system installed metal detectors, bag checks, and other security measures. It happened just two weeks into the new school year. Jada's dad says he hopes students will feel safer now that an arrest has been made. I felt like justice is being served. I felt like uh, law enforcement is doing what they're supposed to do. Now, police are telling us that they still don't know how this 17 year old got his hands on a gun. Again, it has not been recovered. And police also telling us that he has never been in trouble with the law before. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Darcy Spencer. We appreciate it.